When the Princess of Wales made her highly anticipated return to public life at Trooping the Color this year, royal watchers everywhere breathed a sigh of relief at seeing their beloved Catherine looking well. Coupled with her recent appearance at the men's single Wimbledon final, fans remained hopeful of her rejoining her family at some high-profile events. Just weeks after her uplifting message, today the princess has made a stunning appearance, with the royal joining her husband Prince William at an investiture ceremony at Windsor Castle, where she dazzled in a sparkling dress and expensive jewelry, according to a palace insider. Following its conclusion, the couple met with 16-year-old Liz Hatton, an aspiring photographer who was diagnosed with a rare and aggressive form of cancer back in January. Now, Lady Frederick Windsor, also known as Sophie Winkleman, even let slip her latest catch-up with the future queen, saying, It was so cheerful to see her, beautiful as ever. She's been amazingly brave and is doing so well. This touching revelation, which resonated with millions, showcased her incredible resilience and determination during a challenging time. Her strength throughout this ordeal has reminded everyone of her unyielding spirit. Whatever her critics say, she can tell the world whatever she likes, how she likes it. It's good for her to feel so well after completing chemotherapy treatment. Every cancer patient is different, and every cancer patient can declare what they want to declare in whatever way suits them. Her meeting today takes on special significance as it relates closely to the princess's personal experience. The royal mum of three looked well in the two images shared by Kensington Palace on social media. Wearing a maroon suit, smoky eye makeup, and her trademark brunette locks down. Recently, Catherine has been spotted in a variety of necktie blouses and sweaters, showcasing her extraordinary taste that's become synonymous with the royal household. The two separate textile threads of the collar's upper part connect in Victorian-inspired designs. While this style has a retro flair, it's being reimagined by Hollywood's elite. At Boston, the Princess of Wales turned heads in a blush-colored blouse adorned with a wide bow at the collar. Ever the fashionista, she paired it with a fitted burgundy jacket and slacks, showcasing how an exquisite yet fashionable wardrobe essential can create a casual chic look. And on her visit to India, Catherine dazzled in a stunning embroidered outfit that quickly became an instant classic. Her impeccable taste has consistently wowed fans, and since joining the royal family in 2011, she has embraced various styles that exude class and sophistication while maintaining an air of relaxed elegance. Jewelry-wise, Catherine has been spotted wearing elegant gold earrings crafted from 18-karat gold-plated brass. These pieces, part of a small collection from the Welsh-based company, align with her commitment to sustainable fashion and support small businesses. To complete her look, she opted for red Gianvito Rossi shoes, which are a chic addition to her ensemble. Catherine possesses several pairs of elegant footwear in this color, showcasing her love for sophisticated shoes. Catherine also sported an eye-catching headband, created by millionaire Juliette Bill featuring a small pillbox style with subtle adjustments that align with her fashion-forward approach. Some have questioned her experience and the expression of the experience, when contrasted with those who do not share her privilege. But as the latest video shows, Catherine is speaking for herself, and for others, she hopes. She's a public figure, one of the most famous women in the world, and such she has decided to make an empathetically public statement. In a way, the tone no one would have predicted. She wants the world to know that she is cancer-free, and she hopes to remain so. The princess also shares a sense of her recovery journey is ongoing, and that she has the support of her loved ones. Here, the Waleses are not just being sweet and devoted parents, but also holding on to each other on the forest floor, holding hands, as if waiting for their spot in the next campaign. Up to now, and apart from the odd, sweet-looking and hand-holding, we haven't had a sense of them being hot for each other.